Everybody, thanks for watching. This is day two of the golf school that I went to, the Milo Lines Golf School in Arizona. That look that Ed is giving us right now is because we're about 10 or 15 minutes late. So they're doing the warm up already. My goal for the second day, after the first day, I noticed that doing the stages, so that's like basically a very stiff wristed is a foundation one where you're just pivoting the body. And then foundation two is you're still pivoting the body just as much, but you're adding some wrist hinge. I noticed that doing those, I was feeling like really great progress. And then when I went to full swing, it was getting worse. So my goal today was to really get good at doing the stages before I started doing like full swing stuff and to build my confidence really from the ground up, retraining kind of more of a pivot based motion. And then there's some particular swing things that I'm trying to do, mostly getting not only the, the loop of the hands to work the right way, like this, and also the loop of the center of mass of the club. I noticed that sometimes I get the loop of the hands up and down, but the center of mass is still coming over steep. So both those things have to be working well. Okay, Tori, what are, okay, what are we working Okay, rotating hips instead of sliding them. So no more yep. this kind of pattern? More, more rotation. Okay. <laughs> big, big wind up, high hand. Right, big wind up, high hand. That's my main goal for you. Brendan. Yeah, I'm uh, okay. So I'm gonna go one knuckle stronger on the grip. Yeah. Then when I when I my landing point for my backswing, I want it to be here more than deep in here. Okay. That way, when and the point of that is so that when I flow and change direction, it can come this way rather than being so tight, and then any kind of body rotation brings it that way. So that's the real goal is to get this motion. I would say if I could accomplish anything, it would be to start developing a process to be like, okay, I know I'm doing it. Like I want to match the exaggeration for how much exaggeration it has to feel with what's real, you know? Perfect. So the exaggeration there, um, the bend stuff is the most confusing thing to me. But as far as when I start doing that, like I lose the face yeah. a lot. So that's difficult. So most of the bends need to be a, so on the backswing, we can, we can use our wind up to create the left bend, but the right bend needs to be more of a reaction to what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, so when people tell me, when I go to the top and people tell me, okay, now drop that hip and do something, you know, like that, that gets very murky. But like some other step drills, things, something can kind of just make that happen is what I'm looking for. And then the final thing is that yesterday I was feeling really good about some of the progress I was making at, at ones and twos. So I want to like, black belt that get that like good but then learn like okay how is that informing my full swing because I was discouraged when I took one full swing you know my first full swing over the day with you where you know Mike was like oh that looks just Back to you. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I, I needed to, to you know to feed the tree to grow it into okay. something good so that, so that's so what would you say for that like once I'm once I am doing ones and twos pretty good like just gradually start lengthening it out don't just go straight from ones and twos to yeah. Full blast. Okay. See if we can kind of grow it slowly. As you say, feed the tree. Trees don't go from a seed to a tree. Right. A little seedling and it just keeps sprouting up. Yeah, so major, ma mainly, mainly the loop is the, the thing that I'm going to be watching in my little there. pad today. And then Perfect. Yeah. All right. So I. That was better. More of the actual one. Yeah. Yeah. And less cutty. Yeah, I felt that the most when I took the distance and a little. Mike's more, idea uh, when I took the band from stretching it like this and keep yeah, right band. Right now we're keeping it like the uh, uh, gravity. Band kind That's of. one of my favorite little ideas for people who struggle with arm structure. Yeah. Using our sternum. No. So in this foundation, it's good. That was good, right? What do you think, Mike? Was it good? Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah, it's still like the little like cut finish. Like you can see your path is going. Yeah. Mike thinks I swing too left, even after I loop correctly. Then, then I come that's, over. That's, you that's, how you that's how you cut it. Over left. That's how you cut it. So I should be finishing more uh, out towards the target at least. Your arms should feel like they're here. Yeah. Get back here to my I, I, so instead of this. Right. Your so arms are long feel, like this, and, and they just the stay inside. over here, right? Yeah, it's, that, it's kind of dropping. See where they finish? A little oh, more okay. towards that. I don't want them over here. here. Okay, I got you. Just say nice and wide. It's so close to like hitting your like just finger when you point it that way. <laughs> Did he almost get me? It was like yeah, that was exciting. Like, yeah, you just clipped the tip of your finger. Gone home in pain. That's better. 
So like hit the inside of the ball like, like you're talking just about. A little closer together for this drill. I want you to feel a little taller, a little more relaxed up in your knees. That was closer. Closer. Yeah, like there, there's a point where they want to cross, and then I tried to catch it, keep yeah. it back. Yeah, that was like a push cut. It's like I was saying better. yesterday. Every once in a while, like you feel the arms out of position, so then you try to accelerate to pin it rather than like you can do it even slow or medium yeah. or fast. You know, so difficult. It's like there's just a little almost involuntary push coming from somewhere. That was a really good one, I think. I like that. So it was seeming like the big difference in doing the different stages and then trying to hit it full was that once I try to go and hit it full, I cross over my center line with my right hand action, this hitting action too early. At the very end of this video, it's something that Milo and I talk about a little bit, but we need to get into it further. Basically, there's this little hit that you, you do. It's like a kind of like Bruce Lee's two inch punch. Some people have talked about it where this this whole pec and shoulder and all this stuff there's a it, it produces this really large powerful hit but if you do it too early it'll make the ball go left and it'll throw you off plane so you basically got to set into position first and then you give it a little bit of a hit it's almost kind of like putting where where you're putting you rock your shoulders but to give it like that absolute precise amount of uh ball control it's not only shoulders there's a little bit of a hit to it and uh here it's a similar kind of thing so that's i think what i was starting to figure out was that as i get bigger and bigger it, the that little um hit to it has to be set up by other things first you have to be in position to do it but then once you do it it can provide a lot of control and then it also can put some uh some uh lower the dynamic loft to the club and do a lot of good things to really crush it out there like a very compressed kind of feeling so the key for going from one to two is still leave the right arm just as long and then only this is the angle. the only lever that's hinging is this they do that again the only lever hinging in the foundation two is yes it's just your wrist i want to see a little play in your want to see that was really good brendan right. Could do this drill right here because you tend to go arms around nailed the cameraman that was sick that was good that was like a 1.5 it's pretty good yeah okay in this part of the video you're going to see me working with henry and milo and ed and my friend mike padilla who came along with me and i think that i have an advantage in this school and then also come in the coming months because i've been using this app that i really like called swing profile it's something that milo likes as well where as soon as you hit a shot, it replays it. So I had that set up on a tripod. So I have some footage that you'll see. So if you're wondering like when you hear that ding and then you see it replayed, that's automatically doing it. So all I do is just set it up. And then that way, cause some of the, a lot of the times I was doing it and I thought I was doing it right, but, it, but I looked back and it was totally wrong. So it really got me and the teachers on the same page. And I think I was able to make progress faster. So you're gonna see us going through that. The next part, this part here, Henry's going to be talking about alignment, where my feet are where I want them to be, but then my shoulders are too open, which is uh, crucial to do. So it's all these small things that you wouldn't have thought of unless you start spending like hours and hours with somebody. So if your feet are a little open, that's fine, but make sure your upper body is square or parallel to that yellow. Okay, so even if your feet are a little open, I feel like at least your upper body doesn't get too kinked open too. So that way your path still comes a little from the inside. That looks good. That looks a little more neutral. Yeah. That was way better. That's exactly where you're looking, right? You were cutty last night. That's Those are getting better. Yeah, you're, uh, the pattern is, like Henry was saying, is significantly better there. I mean, the last like few swings I've seen, your hands aren't firing way out. That's better. Yeah, I mean, that's still that on your shoulder line, right? Yeah. It's still on the shoulder line, so. I mean, I, that's the only thing I'm seeing is like, last night you tend to get a little, like, cutty, a little swipey. Well, yeah, I mean, when, that happens every time anybody talks about getting open or rotating or right. swinging to the left arm. That stuff always gets me a little too cutty in those. So, to her point with right bend, I know the bends get maybe a little confusing sometimes. But if you start rotating this way, 
and your rehearsals get a little this way. Yeah. Everything's going left. So That's maybe make sure you're neutral with your chest at setup. So that way, and then with this right wrist like we talked about, now you're actually coming a little to the inside. You feel how you're in right bend now? And right shoulder's under the left yeah. versus on top. It's actually starting to come a little from the inside. That was good. I mean, those are, that one was a little overdraw. That one might start straight. It's pretty. I just um, yeah. But, all right, that's a little bit. That's, that's, that's definitely better. more inside. From the inside yeah, yeah. I'm getting the that. inside of the ball. I'm liking that better. So now add that face feel at the exit. I face no feel. This one. Where you're not this one. Up uh, here rather than switch well, on your on your spine. That was better than last night. School, yeah. Last night he was just getting a little. Yeah, but I like he's not. He's like kind of delivering the club a lot better. Best in school, it's though. not like swiping. Yeah. I like how that club's staying the right. Look at the face there. That's yeah, good. it was on the spine. All right, thanks. Good. Man. It's just gotta feel the that rehearsal for you is so important because you sometimes I see your rehearsals on your videos and everything where it just gets a little on top of yeah, it and always versus so right. feeling to the right of you. Yeah, that is a good like challenge. watch my hands That's here. That's a good challenge. <laughs> when I go like this. You gotta feel you gotta feel this way a little bit. Versus sometimes you go a little that way. Yeah, I do. You see how it's like it, the hands are sort of following my turn. That when you fold it on it, you'll see it. Well, I felt it go like yeah. That. Watch this one. I've seen a lot of good things though, for sure. Could even be more extreme. Yeah, so that was, that one didn't fall down, fall like you know what? shallow out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just gotta be more patient. Like allow it to fall into the slot, and then you can go. What does Milo or Ed think, Edward? There you go. It caught that one. It didn't get a little too weak. And you get oh, it makes it go be behind me more. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna still yeah. there. And then see there mm -hmm. is more the, yeah. this way rather than in front of me. Yeah, it's just a little steep, probably. Yeah, the path, the hand path wasn't right. Just so a big gap. Like 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 this stays back. Stays back. Stays back. Stays back. Good shoulders. This comes So this is why he and I use a baseball bat all the time. These baseball players they tip it up, there you go. and then they go. Yep, see how that butt is? Yeah. And this is going to be the look for you because your arm isn't going to be as wide. Right. So it's going to be. That was much better than yeah. that. Right. So you could do this. That was proper right. English on the ball yeah. there. You got a bat. Yeah, it was nice. It, it plays on an infinite loop. I like how this thing slides down the wall. The center mouse staying back. That was good. The left hand grip did big for you. So that's like one there. All right, so school update. Making really good progress on these these shorter swings. Haven't tried to like totally mash it yet, but um, making really good progress in the that's loop funny. and staying very on task, which is good. I've got the swing profile thing going here, so that, that you'll see that was a good one. So I can hit the favorite button here, so and it'll show a little star on it on the list. But you can see there. And then the hands are retaining their depth this way, which is important. And then they're not getting thrown in front of me. Down near the bottom, you'll see the club is the club head is behind me, and I'm it's been trailing. Corinne, do you feel like I feel I feel like the uh, like doing the ones and twos a lot, like I'm doing it like way more progress than I would do like oh, yeah. than the, with the full swing. And then the then if you get the and then you, if you're kind of start to go awry on the full swing, yeah. you go I go back to like two. Yeah, like your ratio to from drill swings to full swings. Then how do you get it like then when when you want to hit one and you want to do a new thing rather than because you've been golfing for so long, so have I. You know, if you want to yeah. do a new thing rather than. Actually, you know, this is like straight back to your old thing. Yeah, so this is 
this is where I, so I've met, this is my very first time I, so I have 20 minutes with Milo once a year. Oh, okay. For, yep. ten, for like 10 <laughs> years. Oh, when he, when he visits when he the club. Yeah, right. Never let anyone teach me. So I've been like self-taught and then like trying to get this down. So this is my very first time. So it'll be fun put to some incorporate work into it, really. works, put some work into it. So this is a really important part of the video for me because Mike and I came up with this drill so that I could feel where I was taking the hands way out, but then that noodle gets pushed in only about eight inches or so. But I feel like that noodle kind of pushes in towards my body and then I have to keep the hands closer to myself. And then not only do I have so to do it with the hands, go, but then I also have to feel the center of mass then drop behind me as well. And that kind of shallowing oh out. So yeah. the hands get closer and the center of mass kind of does this doorknob move. They talk about it where it falls behind me. So let's see here. It's going up and then yes. here it's going up and then Mike moves it in and then I have to keep the hands really close to myself. And it really ties up a few different things uh, with it. The swing profile algorithm was getting messed up by having the noodle in there too. It works not by sound, but by by noticing a swing motion. So that was confusing the algorithm sometimes as far as yeah, let me try one to replay. But it was really a big improvement there. Just I'm doing a bit of a dipsy move because I'm, I'm lo losing my... That one, the sequence was really good, and the strike was really good, but Mike said the hands went out, and they did. No. Just a little bit. Better when the noodle was in. Uh, I wish I had caught that one, because that was really fun. good. All right, let me try one without the noodle. Relax the right shoulder. There you go. Relax the right shoulders because it looks high and, and tight, Correct. and then yeah. rather than that's good. Getting it yeah. right here, but it's going out of swing set. Don't want the dancing. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. It's pretty good. Maybe stay a little bit more squatted. There and then, yeah, yeah. That was I think. It was okay. Just lay down a little bit. Yeah. Lay down. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mike, it's too tough Mike to, to, to be here. Like, say my my mass is here, like on my shoelaces, and then I keep it on my shoelaces and try to do it with my hands. That's too tough. But if I can actually sit into my heels a little bit, I'd agree. That was actually pretty good. You can. You have to focus though. That was great. Yeah, just faster tempo too. Yeah, I tried to hit it further, but look through the bottom. It looks like it's <laughs> it's trailing me like a like a good player because yeah. see, like I see this around the corner. Exactly, that was good. Good right bend or whatever. Um. I like that when you climb the wall, pretty good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that was like an 8 out of 10. That was pretty decent. Yeah. All right, that's good, Mike. We've already got 15 swing thoughts, so I can't even think of what the hell you're saying. You're just going to have preps. Up over here, squat this. It's not the dog. Okay, let's look. There should be a lot. Speed. All right. Try to fade it off. Wasn't awesome. That's good. Better this way, I mean, better. Um, living, like enough of the staff, affordable whatever. Living. Yeah, affordable living, and he has Payment. not met that date. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. He's in a little bit of trouble. She did it again. Yeah, I really good takeaway, but then it, that was the leftward path down at the bottom. Yeah. I felt it. Yeah. 
it did good. Oh, yeah, gosh, it got it, so yeah. Right. Man, that showed nicely. And then we did a putting thing after lunch. After when, Now that I'm editing this together, I'm wishing that I had filmed some of the stuff during lunch because that would be also good footage. But, uh, yeah, we did this putting stuff, which is interesting. Henry was talking about... Okay. He's a caddy on the LPGA Tour, so he was talking about the different things that they do to get calibrated every day and then also to how to build your skills over a while. And then back to the range. I want everybody to focus on making sure they feel that. And then we're just going to hit some little ones like this where it's stand up, lay down, and chip it out there. Okay? Thank you. Do that one more time, Alan. That's good. Something like that. And then claim it. Okay. Let's all gather back up again. So, yeah, shallowed nicely. Could have stayed closer to me, but I think the backswing's going to be good there. I'm starting to finally feel. Watch. Yeah, see, it was actually ab above my hands. Yeah, that was okay. Okay, it's 3.20 at the school, and now we're doing stage two. So this is my version of a stage two that you're seeing over here. And it's too big, but it's the right idea. Right arm could be longer, but the loop is the main thing, and that's been the whole rebuild this school has been changing the loop in my golf swing. So I like the loop. It looks good. No, this is a swing profile, a different, a different repeater up. Just the hands were really far from my legs. Mm -hmm. I don't like the little cutty again. Back swing was really good, but then yeah, I'm just coming across the. Oh, Eric. <laughs> That's not that good. Money. Yeah, he's been doing good over here. <laughs> Left hand grip, Brendan. Okay. Yeah, more knuckles. Yeah. Like, it looked like, like right about here, the face is like too open. That's bad. Oh, that's out the name. I know it is, but like yeah. in, in, in the normal, normally you think? Mm, let me take a look. Right. That was really good. How was that one? Was really like good. Super conscious. Yeah, strong grip. It was really good. Okay. It was a stronger grip. I had an unleash for a little bit, for a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and hit some. So. What are the keys to being able to take our little foundation swing and turn them into a full swing, full speed? More sure. the pressure. More pressure mo motion. So we're gonna feel a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more pressure, more wind up, just more energy in general. Anything else? Wide enough stance to support that energy. Yeah. So stance is gonna be Something like this, depending how tall you are, fairly wide stance. I want to make sure that there's some flow, so you're feeling like you're moving. Pressure is always a, moving ahead of the club, so wherever the to get the thing moving, pressure goes this way, and then it goes the other way before the club gets to go the other way. Does that make sense? Let's see what you guys got. Okay, this is my favorite part of the video. Like Milo just said, he wants everybody to unleash for a little bit. So he didn't want to go too early to driver, full on drivers, because then you can only do that so many times. You, you know, if you think about 
two and a half hours of like full board drivers. There's probably almost nobody on earth that can just keep up with that kind of pace and still have any kind of learning going on. And this is my probably my favorite part of the video because if you remember early in the series, so back on day one, I was loving the golf school. I was loving doing stage ones and stage twos. And then I did my lesson with Milo and my first swing was immediately back to exactly what I did before. And I was really discouraged that I was like, oh gosh, like even Mike could see without any slow-mo or anything like that. It was exactly what I used to do. No change whatsoever. So, and then it took, you know, that whole lesson to build it back where it was really good by the end of that lesson. What I was doing here in this part of the video there I'm getting really frustrated that I'm hitting like some good drives but about 60% of them are either pulled or snap hooked. Feel that, that pattern? So it's a little bit more. Oh, oh there Brandon. Go. That was a hit. There we go. About 60% hooks and uh, but then the other 40% are, are really good. It's hard to, you know, you can't play with that. So here is the process where I'm starting to really learn how to put the stuff from the foundation things into a full swing without just throwing everything that I've been working on away and just trying to figure it out with brand new feels. I am starting to use this stuff from the foundations to inform how to keep the club inside the golf ball. Really, that's that's my main thing is. I think, well, it looks like from the swings I've seen, you're like money right here. And then you just got a little of that old pattern where you go up and towards toe towards down face and, and instead of feeling like this face stays this way, like it stays. I feel like I'm like that when I'm going to a full swing, hard motion, it's consistently in the heel and it's going left. So I'm starting to learn like, okay, how do I do all this stuff that I've been doing? But now at speed, the energy is pulling my hands away from me and it's making the ball go left. So you just have to, uh, I was starting to learn a little bit of containment and working with Milo. And I, by the end of this, I start hitting some really, really great drives and come up with a good strategy to, to keep it in play more often using a shape that I usually don't use. Like all this feels athletic. Like I like yeah. fun stuff getting here. I'm, this feels good. And then heel and hook, you know. So you're saying that was closer. Yes. Felt good too. Knuckles up and just do this. Yes. Front side out of the way. Like a home run hitter. I think I did it. But I can feel that I hit the outside of the ball. I actually like that one, Brendan. What's that? Oh, carry a little further. A little I like higher. that shot. A little push fade, high cut. Yeah, that's the one thing I can say. I have zero shape in my mind hitting these. I'm just like doing moves. I don't know if I should have a have a have a shape in mind. You like that higher fading? I like the high cut. So you're hitting up through it, stabilizing all the way around. Yeah. Don't let that club head chase the ball. Oh, way closer. Yeah, you really want to feel that. Posture-wise, my little look little between turn. that. I like the taller one. Or the taller. back swing. Me too. All right, high cut. You should play that shot, like, all your life. Yeah. Knuckle fade. Is it even be... All right, Milo, this is my one that would be like, I really want to hit it straight, you know? So, okay. Not like a part five one, but more like a... Got to get it in play? That's, that's yeah, easy. keep it in play one. Yeah, because it's... Yeah. Go here. But you know yeah. what I'm going to do? Intentionally try to come from the inside. Exactly. Of course. That's what you always do. So, these are how I decide. I just feel like my... That's perfect. My right yeah, shoulder yeah. and back is going up in the sky behind me. One more, I'll be happy. Yeah. I, feel I think part of the deal when you're playing golf is you need to have a definite yeah. shape. Yeah every shot don't just swing to swing learn to hit a shot and ride that pony that was better yeah there you go that was good kareem yeah, perfect high cut yeah. that's what a driver should do with right. just a neutral swing what'd you feel on that one I felt this club get pulled from my finger right here and somehow it got outside. It, just, it looked like it 
just shot out. Well, I think it like pulled and then like I tried to catch up to like something over accelerating somewhere. Maybe it got out over the top again a little bit. Hands out. I just saw, I could just see the remnants of it at, at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the chase. It. it was already like screwed before I even felt it. So, okay, like when Mike was standing there, I'm tossing it towards him. I'm shallowing it and as if he's bringing that in here. Yep. Then I want to be here and I'm hitting this spot pretty good, I gotta okay. say. And then from here, don't apply any force to your really... hands. Just use your left side to go around. Okay, so like this, this. Chop. It feels so slow, but it's, yeah, I'll just try. It's car It will. It'll produce consistent that shape, though. You yeah. won't get the the other one that bites you in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so recap what we're doing, Milo. I'm going to throw the club like I'm trying to yeah, hit you. It's going to feel like it's more out here. Uh, stronger grip first. Stronger yeah. grip. Yeah. The club's going to feel like it's out here and hinging more up. Right. And then I'm going to feel like Mike moves the noodle yeah. in here. The noodle in here and you've got to go inside. inside and then I'm getting to this spot pretty good. From here, it's a feeling a little confusing, but it, it's basically, you're saying I want to feel this. That front side around behind yourself. Yeah. No twist in the wrist. No twist in the hands. There, there. Yes. <laughs> and then the final thing is in my mind, Milo, there we found that the flags at us over there. <laughs> oh, in, in my mind, I want to feel oh, like a, a little bit of a high, a high cut. Yep. <laughs> oh, baby. Work on that. Towards little bit. you. Good, so like Smash Factor is really good. It's just that little bit of pull. That was just the face got just a tiny bit shut. So you yeah. hit a, it didn't really curve. That ball drew what? Three yards, five yards? Yeah. But you pulled Not it. Not much. You pulled it a couple yards. Yeah, I pulled it. That's the shot that I. It's not the snapper that I showed up with, but. Yeah, no longer the snapper, but not the little fade you were intending to hit. Right, right. So, but uh, motion wise, you think it's all good until about there and then. And then you, you just give it a little, oh, yeah. it's like that's a remnant of how you, you you release it. Well, it feels really powerful too. And that's a video I wanted to talk about anyway. Uh, it feels really powerful, but I'm going to go and hit you. I go like this. I get kind of in position as I turn, but then right about here, there would be a little boom. Yeah, but you got to get to there first. See where your chest is? Yeah. In your swing, you get that impulse happens. That, that impulse happens there. here. You've got to get to here first, and, and then, then that can, done. then yeah. you can let that kitchen sink Huge throw at it. Okay. I, I do like the feeling of this right peck being, hitting hard, but it just can't hit early, right? If it hits early, you're going to get the outside of the ball. Okay, so up to a few, in and fade it. Too small there, so you be patient with this. That's good. That was a perfect <laughs> shot. Yeah, that was great. Okay, so that's it for the Milo Lines Golf School. 2022 is about over. So that was really good. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. That was cool. So a lot of cool, uh, exciting things coming up in the future between Be Bitter Golf and Milo. So uh, stay tuned for that. And if you watch this far, I really appreciate you being interested in my golf. This is a little <laughs> bit different because this is very, uh, the original purpose of Be Better Golf was just to make me better. Not to make golf videos or whatever. I think you got better this week. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did get better. Go. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, th okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I want to thank Swing Profile for helping make this video happen. It's one of my favorite tools to use for golf. So uh, if you go to the App Store. You can check it out there on the app store. They also have a new feature where when you're doing the replay mode, they're going to uh, be able to track the ball. I don't know if that's public yet that that's coming out, but uh, the guy, my friend who invented it, Ziki in New Zealand, told me about it. I'm really excited about that. And uh, Milo has some things coming up, but make sure to subscribe to Be Better Golf. It's really the best way to keep track of what everything is going on in kind of the uh, extended Be Better Golf universe. Thanks, everybody. Bye.